In this video, I will show you how to edit a Photoshop template using Photopea. Alright, let's get started. So first of all, you want to go to photopea.com and when you get there, you will see the user interface. The Photoshop files that we're going to be using for this tutorial are saved to my computer and I suspect you're going to be doing the same. So to open them, we're going to start with open from computer. The files are saved on my desktop. So I'm going to go to desktop, templates, and we're going to start with, well, we're going to be doing flyer template number two, just to try and keep things nice and short. When you click to open, it starts loading the fonts and this will be what it looks like so first of all on the left hand side here you will have the tools that you use pretty similar to the ones in photoshop and then on the right side you will have the layers panel and that's pretty much all you need to get this done so for what we're going to be doing i recommend that you select auto select when you're using the move tool click auto select ensure that it's on layer which it should be by default then you're going to click transform controls all this does is tell the software when you click on a particular layer or image it will auto select it so you can edit it and it will show you how big it is in terms of the scale by way of a box and here's an example if you look in the layers panel here you will see name our department which is the first thing we have here to edit which is right here all right so if we click on name and department you see a box comes up around it and this is where we're going to change to include the church name or ministry so we're going to start with uh, the east and seventh day adventist church and to make this easier you can have stuff typed out in a word document so you can just copy and paste i'm just making this up as i go along all right so in order to do that just now i use the move tool i selected this layer and we can see the control handles come up and you double click right there on the T and now it's ready to edit and you can type all right when we're finished we click the move tool again and now that's saved all right so we've put in the ministry or the church let's move to the title and it's the same process we're gonna do for these weird looking icons these that look like folders these are actually in groups so to see all the layers that are in the group you need to click the arrow the triangle sorry that's next to the group icon all right so here's another text layer we're gonna say insert main title and we're gonna say the eastern seventh day adventist church presents let's put presents here let's ensure that our cursor goes to the end all right presents good move tool to close we're gonna edit the title and we're gonna call this title back to school community so in order to get this in another line all I'm gonna do is put the cursor in front of community and hit enter on the keyboard and it sends that into another line move tool just close and that's there and if you have a subtitle you can put it here so we're back in the layers panel insert subtitle here if any and we're gonna say a community service event all right 
move tool to close all right good so we're making progress so far date we're gonna leave the date for now but to edit the date you would be doing the same thing expanding the group layers and putting in the dates all right let's let's actually change the date so we're gonna say august we're gonna say august august 31 2022 starts at 10 a.m. All right, good. Move tool to close. So you notice now that the rectangle, which is this one, is a little shorter than the text. And that's why we want to see the control, the transform controls. So we can just grab this box here and pull it down so that it matches what's there hit enter on the keyboard and that's gonna be saved all right now based on the offset of this document the middle is actually where this guide is all right so in order to get what we just did in the middle if you look at the transform controls here would be the middle but we want everything in the middle we can select the group here in the in the layers panel and we're gonna start moving it over with the keyboard to the left to the left and if you want to make bigger jumps we're gonna hold shift on the keyboard and just move it over until it's aligned in the center and we're gonna hit the move tool again just to ensure that everything stays nice and dandy all right good stuff so we're making progress so far Let's look at location. We have three lines for location. All right, so we're gonna insert the name. Well, in this case, you would insert where, you would insert the name of where the event would be. So if it's gonna be at the park, let's say heritage, Heritage Park and the address is going to be uh, 131 Main Road East End. All right. Now remember, this is just an example. This is not the actual address. And we're going to change this to say East End, East End Grand Cayman. Hit the move tool again and that's saved all right we're almost done if you wanted to put something you could change come and receive a blessing all right so in this template you notice there's a slight problem whenever you try to select one of these text layers it's selecting something that's over so i use a noise layer to add some texture to the to the design if you disable the layer by clicking the eye right here in the layers panel then you should be able to just click and select stuff another thing you could do if you don't want to disable the layer is actually to lock this layer by clicking on it and clicking the lock now what that does it means that it can't go anywhere so when you try to select anything else it's just gonna it's just gonna stay there so that's two things you can do to solve that problem all right if you wanted you could put something here come and receive the blessing in store for you or since we're doing a back to school events we're gonna say come and receive no come out and get free school supplies good full stop and we are basically done except in the background we have a picture of a church 
we don't want a picture of a church for this event so for the purpose of this tutorial sorry let's go to unsplash or let's go to pixels so let's go to pixels.com we're gonna search back to school or school Let's do back to school. And basically, I'm trying to find an appropriate image. I don't necessarily need one because I'm just showing how to use the template, but I'm trying to get it as close as possible. So let's grab this one here, open it in a new layer, click download size. All right. All right, so now we have, or we need to get our image where this church is. So in the layers panel, let's identify which one is a church, and that's this one right here. Deselect it to make sure, reselect, all right. So we can do file, file, open and place, and we click to open. All right, then we're gonna click and drag and open this one. Sorry, scale it to just ensure it's the size that we want and press enter. All right, so that's where we are. This is the old background, so we can just delete that one. We use a delete right here. All right, so now we have mm, a little bit of a problem where the color of our background seems to be conflicting with the color of our design. So we can fix this one of two ways. First way, let's change the color of the text. So we've identified in the layer panel the text that we want to change, or so we can click to select. And then we're gonna double click on the T here and at the top you see the size you see the type of font if you wanted to change the font this is where you would do it you select the drop down and click or if you wanted to, to make it bold if the text has bold you could make it bold right here also if you wanted to change the color you could do it right here if you wanted to make it a line left a line right or a line center let's change the color for now and we can use something that stands out a little bit let's start with a blue press ok it's still highlighted so let's hit the move tool and click in the gray space to deselect i know that's looking a little bit better but here's another trick that we can do we're gonna click the background layer and here where it says opacity, we're going to turn down this opacity just a little bit. Well, a bit much. <laughs> Alright, so all what we're doing is just using the picture of the school supplies to supplement the main design of the text. So to change this text we're gonna put it back we're gonna put this back to yellow I believe a yellow or an orange would be good to make it nice and bold all right that should be good and if you wanted to change the color of this rectangle well, this is gonna be a little bit different I actually use a gradient overlay so let's just say you didn't want green. You would have to expand here to see the effects. That's what EFF means. And then double click on gradient overlay. When you're in here, this is the actual color that was used. It was a full green and the opacity was turned down. So you can use the full green. You can edit the colors right here by clicking double clicking changing the colors to what you want so let's say we wanted to use something similar to the yellow 
we will go yellow there and on this end we left click yellow here press ok press ok and that would change the color of this or if you wanted to use a solid color you could disable the gradient by this check mark and now it's blue press ok because the actual color of this rectangle is blue so if I double click here you're gonna see blue then you could just use whatever color uh, is fitting for you and your design would a yellow work no yellow and white nope let's use a light blue nope all right so let's use a green let's use a green we could do something like that so the date stands out as well and that's pretty much how easy it is to achieve what i am trying to do now that you're finished with your design you will want to now save it so you can share it or distribute it and this part is pretty easy all you need to do is go to file export as and in most cases you will use a png or a jpeg so you go and hit png this window will come up to show you a preview of what your design will look like don't worry if you can't see everything just click and move it around and it has name so we can type name we're gonna say flyer design and then hit save when you click save it will open your browser window for you to browse to say where it is that you want to save this design you go ahead click save and that's it now you have your design ready to send to someone else but let's say you wanted to save it so that you could work on it at a later date in order to achieve this you will click save save as psd and the window comes up again you give it a name flyer design of course ensure you take note where you are saving this mine is being saved to the desktop in templates click save and when saving is gone from the top then you will find it on your computer that's it for today's video if you found this video useful go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you want to continue seeing more like this subscribe to the channel if you have any questions you can leave a comment below and i will get to it as soon as i can also i'll leave an email address so that you can email directly and i will also email as soon as i can Thank you for watching this video and of course I'll see you in the next.